this has been a rule from since I've been getting waves, even when I have braids, this has been a rule. I never do the nasty without my do-rag on. You can ask my wife. If, if the moment is getting heated, I'm coming in the bathroom, I open the drawer, I pull out one of them joints for my stash. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how y'all be doing y'all, but I be sweating. Don't be no sad, fuck that best nigga ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, call it plot, cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. Is the swim team in the building? I said, is the swim team in the building? Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad! All right, swim team. Uh, today we're gonna talk about do rags. How to tie a do rag. When you should wear a do rag. When you shouldn't wear a do rag. And you know we're gonna make this video entertaining, funny. You're gonna learn something. But before we get to all that, okay? I want you to go to the comment section of this video. I'm gonna have a link to my family channel pinned up. Click the link. Subscribe to my family channel. Hit the notification bell. And you know what I'm saying? Make sure you become a part of the family over there because what it is. I'm working on something right now where I can daily upload over there because over there I can really be myself. You feel me? Over here, we're gonna do the hair content, bit of story time, bit of haircut. You know, we still gonna turn up over here, but over there, over there is where things gonna get real. Alright, so the do-rag. How do you tie a do-rag? So first let me take this joint off. You feel me? Let me show y'all the Ooh, child. Things are gonna get easier. Look, I ain't gonna hold y'all, boy. Ooh, what? <laughs> y'all better stop playing with me now. I'm out here spinning. My hairline ain't worth a damn, but I'm look. My hairline all crooked. Look, let me tell y'all something. I got a calic. So look, ooh. Let me let me go ahead and brush this down. I'm about to put the Beijing in my. Hold on, bro. Where the Beijing at? I was about to put the Beijing match on. Alright, so how do you tie a do-rag? So let's let's retie this do-rag, and then we're gonna untie it, and then we're gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna carry the conversation. So when you tie your do-rag on, right? Excuse me, I'll just drink it some wine. You wanna turn it inside out. You see this line right here? This line right here, you want that to be on the outside at all times. Why do you want the line to be on the outside over those? Well, so happy you asked. So you don't have this long ass line on the middle of your forehead when you tie the do-rag on. So that's why you always tie it on the opposite end. So you get it like this right here, right? Boom. You line it up. Make sure it's dead smack in the center. You can line it up with your nose. Some of y'all got some big ass nose, so it should be easy for y'all to line it up. Then you come around, bam, you feel me? You come around, is it straight? Yeah, the line's straight, you could. Now you wanna make this right here. If you have a silky, this will be very easier. You make the line, the strap, you wanna make the strap fat. Just like that. You want the strap to be fat. Now what that does is it prevents you from having another line right here. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen certain people take their do-rag off and they head look like a, a freaking ice cream cone. I'ma draw. I'm not gonna draw shit. Y'all know what an ice cream cone look like. Okay, so it just looked like this part of their joint is just pulled in and then it's like that. That's cause one, they do-rag too tight, but two, they didn't have the flat part. You feel me? You gotta make it thick and also keeping it thick kind of creates like another compression for your side waves I'm out here breaking it down scientific for y'all alright oh I forgot alright so when you get to the back now you tie it like you tie a shoestring so you do this you go in like this right here and then you make the, the bow so the back of your joint should be like you tying a shoestring. Then you fit it like this. You feel me? I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know how to tie a do-rags, but 
you know, we have some some different type of audiences who may not know how to tie a do rag. So once you got it like this, you know what I'm saying, you could do that. You could, you could put it in here or you could rock it with the Superman cape. It's all on you. Now, when can you and can't you wear a do rag? Okay. You got to think about it. I don't know if there's any women viewing this video right here, but we're going we gonna to break it down. <sighs> you wear a do-rag to keep your hair neat. Whether you got braids or you got waves, you're just going to wear a do-rag to make sure that your hair stay neat. So, when you're going to sleep, you make sure you put a do-rag on. Right? If you're in the house, you wear your do-rag. I, I have a rule. This has been a rule from since I've been getting waves, even when I have braids, this has been a rule. I never do the nasty without my do-rag on. You can ask my wife. If, if the moment is getting heated, I'm coming in the bathroom, I open the drawer, I pull out one of them joints for my stash. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how y'all be doing y'all, but I be sweating. And I don't want to sweat my hair out. You feel me? I sound, cra sound crazy, but you don't want to sweat your hair out. You're going to sweat some progress out. Just like women. Women, when y'all about to do the nasty and y'all get your hair done, right? Let's say you get your hair straightened. You go ahead and you get you your little silky headband or whatever. And you put that on because what you, you don't want your man to sweat your hair out. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just that our hair is always done. You feel me? So that's, you should... Whenever you about to do the nasty, make sure you have your do-rag on. Now, when you should you not wear a do-rag? If you about to go out on a date, there is no need for you to have a do-rag on. Like, if you and your woman go on a date and you buy a do-rag to match your outfit, I hope she leaves you. The point of us having waves is to show it off. Like, what's what's the point of going on a date with a joint and you got your you got your do rag on? Like that don't that's just for first off that's disrespectful. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna give y'all a story. My homeboy gonna be mad as hell at this story right here. It don't have nothing to do with no do rag, but it, it's in the same realm. It's a time and a place for everything. Repeat it. It's a time and a place for everything. So. One of my homies, he's talking to this chick or whatever, you feel me? And you know, they, they did the do. He got the box, he got comfortable. So, she hit him up to, to meet her at a restaurant. And you know, me, I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I used to be a little thought back in the day. So I know when opportunities is presenting itself, you feel me, it's an opening. She basically hit you up because she wanted some more dangling. You feel me? Like, that's all it was. She wanted some more dangling, whatever. So, this man shows up to the restaurant in some basketball shorts. It's a time and a place for everything. Like, I mean, long story short, Shorty stopped talking to him. Shorty stopped talking to him. So, if you go into to dinner, with with a with a joint and you got the do rag on, it's a shame shame on you. You feel me? I I could see you like riding up to to the um to her crib. You got your do rag on. As soon as you get to her crib, you take your do rag off for the rest of the night. Now, if the date goes good, if the date goes good, and y'all come back to the spot, you feel me? Right before you grab the magnums, cause you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be raw dogging that, you know what I'm saying? Right before you grab the magnum, you grab the Dewey too. But I put it on. She gonna know what time it is. She gonna know what time it is. You feel me? Put the do rag on for you, for you, for you get to doing what you're doing. So yeah, that's that's when you shouldn't wear your do rag. Now I do have a, a certain thing against people um, buying do rags to match their outfit but i i'm not gonna say i'm guilty of this but i do have do rags that match like clothes that i wear to the gym i mean you you wear your do rag in the gym because you're gonna sweat i play basketball a lot 
So right before I go to the gym, I, I throw my Dewey on. My Dewey might match my sneakers, you know what I'm saying? My Dewey might match my, my shorts. It, I look well put together when I go to the gym. Now, I ain't one of them people that go on the basketball court and I have like a, a whole freaking Michael Jordan outfit. The Chicago Bulls look like I'm, I was on the bench, sitting on the bench and all that. I'm not one of them type of people. But, you know what I mean? I might have me a little, like I got some baby blue Kobe's, right? With a little orange swish on it or a little red swish, pink swish, whatever type of swish it is. But, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I throw my dewey on, everything is put together. But that's just for the gym. That's just for the gym. That's for me to go play basketball. That's for me to go lift weights. That's for me to go run the... I don't run the treadmill. I don't do none of that. But you get what I'm saying. That's just gym attire. That's not get fly attire. That is not get fly attire. A do-rag is not part of your getting fly attire. It's a tool to make sure your waves, your braids, and all that stay neat. You feel me? I'm just throwing that out there. I'm looking dead at you right there because I know some of y'all niggas is guilty of that. Your do rag is not get fly attire. Just want to throw it out there. Do rag etiquette for y'all, man. But go ahead and let me show y'all what these joints looking like, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Quick little brush session before I throw a do rag back on, and then that's the video. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the family channel because we getting lit over there. And oh. This is Gold Drip, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Poppy Blaster, man. Shout out to PB. We out here. We out here. I'm gonna try to do rag one more time and then that's the video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe to the family channel. And make sure y'all follow the rules of wearing do rags. Make sure you tie it inside out so you don't have to line on the on your forehead. You feel me? You line it up with your nose. You got the fat strap. Boom. There we go. My joint a little crooked. How how my do rag crooked with the oh no no it's not no it's not. My head just shaped funny. All right squad, that was the video for today man. We out. Don't be no sad. Fuck that best nigga ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, call the plug. Cut me some bar for the week. Who's smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.